Professor Tarras and his own discussion. Now I am going to uh, have 15 minutes to present my recent work. My name is Yiwen Lin. Uh, I come from Taiwan as a graduate institute of computer computer science. Uh, at this moment, I will introduce about PEN. PEN publish a break up to 20% of us. Maybe one or five will pen now, just that I will muscle pen now. So uh, there are many, many massive uh, significant challenge of pen. How to treat pen? So acupuncture is one of the good choice. The sensation of pen irritated the real injury in the trigger approach protection response. Unfortunately, we need more and the more method to treat from the patient. Uh, in the pen system, there are many students just like Angel, Black Kidney, Synotomy, FTP, Proton, and the Davis. They will uh, trigger and uh, increase from tissue injury. And at this moment, these uh, factors will activate the nerve terminal of uh, uh, also the ganglion. And then they will pass the pen system, uh, pen system to the spinal cord area. It's called the central sensitization. And finally, to the brain area. So this is why we can feel pain. So there are many places where they can uh, from the side and send the pen signal to the spinal cord to the brain area. From here, we can see the, the nose center, from the clinical side, from muscle, from visceral. They can pass the pen signaling from uh, also they can grant to spinal cord and finally they can do the uh, pedicure, like the direct brain to the cellulas and then maybe they can pass the signal to the muscles and clinical cortex, singular cortex, insular cortex. So this is why the individual they can uh, feel pain. In uh, World Health Organization, there are several pain uh, analyzed to report on control clinical trials. They determine that several pain can be treated by acupuncture. Several of them are just around facial pain, head pain, knee pain, low back pain. They can be treated by acupuncture. Um, a major article in Nature Neuroscience, they suggest that the neurosin A1 is a media local antennas that effect acupuncture. In this paper, they show that when they use the acupuncture at two standing acupoint, they can trigger the local at the at the nose in release to reduce the pain. Also uh, published in 2010 in Nature, they recommend that we can do many acupuncture research for mice. So we uh, in I will not uh, the clinical trials is most important in the pain control system, especially for acupuncture. Now they become maybe we can use a several study uh, use uh, acupuncture for mice. At the same time, they always publish paper about needle and the nursing center for pain relief. As we know, in maybe 30 years ago, uh, Professor Han they suggest that acupuncture can trigger the endogenous and opioid system. So this is a enormous uh, finding that needle and adenosine for pain relief. So they can resist uh, adenosine in local area. So in in my lab, we always use the uh, animal for our research. So we use a uh, a multifunction electric stimulation uh, stimulator and use a case and it's to do uh, acupuncture on mice. So uh, since uh, in uh, clinical doctors can communicate with the patients, so in Animal study, we cannot come in with the uh, mice because they can only have a GTG. So they cannot say what happened in their body. So we need some behavior test. So in our lab, we always use the electronic monthly development test to measure the clinical pain and the heart gravity test to measure the thermal pain. So recently, we published some paper in good journals. And the, the first one, we use the digital acupuncture, attenuous CFA induced inflammatory pain by suppression MNB 1.8 through 
different pathways, just like TRPV1 or the OID and adenosine pathway. First, uh, we show that we use the initial acupuncture at the two standing acute point. Two times of initial acupuncture, they can reduce the mechanical pain. So this is the higher score means the low pain. So the withdrawal, uh, the withdrawal threshold will decrease because we inject some inflammatory mediated into the high core. And the EA can reduce the mechanical pain and the thermal pain. We also delete the TRPV1 gene. So similarly now uh, in this animal behavior test. So we come and uh, we conclude, so conclude that TRPV1, uh, electro acupuncture and the TRPV1 deletion, they can reduce the mechanical and the thermal pain from shear brain inflammatory pain. So what is the mechanical hypergesia? The same still that you induce the higher painful sensation. Maybe something happened inside the critical side and the central side. So we use the sun uh, in Bambesh, uh, microbia and the GF and the s sign marker, just like GFAP, IBM1, S100 dB, and the bridge. They are uh, marker and the sun mediator from critical cell and the s side. Our results show in inflammatory pain. This factor will increase in the peripheral dorsal regate. And also the transient receptor potential V1 pathway. TRPV1 is a painful ion channel sensor. So uh, the PRPV1 and its signaling pathway are all increased in the inflammatory pain model. And uh, we show that electroacupuncture they can decrease the inflammatory pain pathway. The result also show in central spinal cord label. So we show that the EA can decrease the central sensitization in the spinal cord label from glial and acetyl side and also in the TRPV1 pathway. Furthermore, we use some immuno studies to show that CFA induced increase of nociceptor sodium channel because sodium channel is very important for painful sensation in the liberal side. So, electro acupuncture and the TRP1 gene deletion can decrease the, uh, decrease the potentiation of the painful secret pathway. And uh, this time of when we, when we uh, what is know is maybe electro acupuncture can increase the maybe adenosine or opioid uh, to decrease the inflammatory pain. So in this figure, we show that opioid and adenosine A1 receptor are crucial for EA induced analgesia in mice model of inflammatory pain. We show that CFA can induce the inflammatory pain, both in mechanical and thermal pain. And after after EA treatment, they can reduce the inflammatory pain. The mechanical is through endo. Uh, Opioid and the adenosine system. So our results show that uh, when we inject agonist of opioid and adenosine system, they can reduce the inflammatory pain. And also, it is EA induced the energy effect while blocking by <coughs> endogenous opioid antagonist and the adenosine antagonist. So similar one result in immuno standing. So we shortly conclude that when we inject some CFA, CFA is a cell immune inflammatory pain. They can induce inflammatory inflammation to activate the TRPV1 signal pathway and also activate microglia and the extrocyte. So our reduction, electro acupuncture or TRPV1 deletion, they can block this pathway. So this is a, a detailed mechanism for uh, EA. Second paper we always we also show uh, the previous one we use the EA to treat the uh, pain and then this paper we use the electrical acupuncture to prevent the induction of inflammatory pain. Similarly that will show that when we use the electrical acupuncture they can reduce the both mechanical and the thermal pain. So this is for pain induction. Also, we show that this signaling pathway will reduce the in 
dorsal ganglion, spinal cord. And also, we want to study about some inflammatory marker, just like protein and phosphorylative protein kinase C as well. And the CAS2, CAS2 is an uh, inflammation <coughs> factor. So, our result also show that when we use the EA, they can reduce the inflammatory mediated just like PKC as well and the CAS2. So, our result show, it also show can reduce the inflammation. Both one neuronal side and the inflammatory side. So, in this way, can reduce the inflammation uh, through endo and endomorphin and the endocrine system. So, in needle we show that some patients did not feel from the needle effect. So, this paper we show we use the normal mice, we use the electrode puncture, and then we dissect out the dorsal ganglion. We are reduction in the peripheral side, TRPV1 and the associated signaling pathway is very important in acupuncture needle. And then they can pass the signal to spinal cord and the further to somatosensory cortex. So this is very important issue. Our research here is that TRPV1 is very important for needle sensation. So we did it the TRPV1 gene. Our reduction because uh, in those are the peripheral, those are the ganglion, central spinal cord, and the central somatic cortex. The signaling was blocked by TRPV1 gene deletion and the electrode acupuncture. So, our results show that when we use the manual acupuncture and the electrode acupuncture, they will trigger the TRPV1 signaling to the excitatory neuronal activation. So, finally, I will introduce the, another paper is that. In ancient acupuncture, we always use the uh, acupuncture at the local site. At this paper, we use the distal electrode puncture. When we use the injury at the high pole, we use the distal control lateral acupuncture at the herbal acupoint. So, our reduction, when we use the herbal tool, we can show that they can reduce the mechanical and the thermal, and they can be practiced in training. And also, the TRPV1 signaling pathway, especially in the brain, because it's a distal electroacupuncture. So, our reduction electroacupuncture can reduce the TRPV1 associated signaling pathway in the brain, especially in the medial prefrontal cortex and the hypothalamus. So, they can reduce the signaling pathway. And the very interesting is that TRPV1 and the uh, associated signal pathway they can reduce the in descending inhibitory pathway, periodic way. So the signaling will decrease in this area. And uh, also we use the two hertz electrode function. Our reduction, all the signaling they can be first by electrode function at a PAG area. Also and uh, involves in immune standing study. So Unless uh, we use the semantic in the illustration of distal EA, maybe they can increase the uh, concentration of uh, opioid in the central side or adenos in the peripheral side to reduce the CFA, reduce the mental pain. So, this is uh, my presentation. Thanks.